Lady friends, welcome back to our channel. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we are doing our August wrap up. Dang, this was a fun month for reading, mm -hmm. I feel like. Uh huh. E even if not all of them were like high up on my list. Right. So let's start off with the books I did not finish in the month of August. Now, these are for a variety of different reasons. Maybe the characters just didn't hit me. Maybe the subject matter didn't hit me. Uh, but I was just having a really hard time reading books this month. That's why I have so many. I have eight that I did not finish. And those books are Chasing Starlight, Where Dreams Descend, Musical Chairs, Somewhere in the Dark, We Are All the Same in the Dark, Convince Me, Three Perfect Liars, and The Troop. Now, one thing that we do want to also mention is we had one book that I read that I did not give stars to because of its subject matter, mm -hmm. and that is The Existence of Amy. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, it's a special category, and it, we're, we're, you're going to see that in our review of it, so yeah. keep an eye out for yeah. that. <laughs> I have a two-star of City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I'm just... I'm not, I'm not for the series. So you anymore. were into it, like the first part of the series, the and then you just went, meh, and you? Each book, it just progressively went downhill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. As far as three stars, I have The Roanoke Girls, Keep My Heart in San Francisco, The Scam List, Beach Read, The Girls Weekend, Love Sold Separately, and The Return. I have Teen Titans Raven, The Return, and Parasite, Volume 1. As far as four star books go, I did have quite a few of those this month, and uh, yay for that. Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, The Night Swim by Megan Golden, The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson, Horror Store by Grady Hendrix, Kill Creek by Scott Thomas, and The One by John Mars. I have Forging Hephaestus by Drew Hayes, Batman Nightwalker by Marie Liu, Truly Devious, by Maureen Johnson, Mythos by Stephen Fry, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, and that's it. So for five star, I only had one, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that it's the same one you mm -hmm. had, and it's In an Absent Dream by Sean and McGuire. Oh yeah. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this. We already did talk about it in a previous video, but I just finished actually number five, which is uh, Come Tumbling Down for the second time. He, it was his first time. And honestly, In an Absent Dream was was really good and I really liked it, but it reminds me just how this series, even though it's always good, 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 it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, definitely for In an Absent Dream, I, I just, I liked the book a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and for the very same reasons, I think, because it's just the universe is so imaginative. The mm -hmm. characters are so relatable and, and so modern. I really love it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching our August wrap up and make sure you're subscribed so you know exactly what we're reading when. And until next time, stay in the zany. Bye-bye.